everyone knows about Paul Revere's famous midnight ride to alert colonists about the British attack on Lexington and Concord. But not everyone knows about another famous midnight ride that happened right here in the Hudson Valley. Maybe it's because the Patriot on horseback was a teenage girl named Sybil Ludington. Born in 1761 in Fredericksburg, now known as Ludingtonville in Kent, Sybil's father was the commander of the 7th Regiment of the Dutchess County Militia, and she inherited his revolutionary spirit. In the early days of America's War for Independence, Sybil famously tricked a group of 50 British loyalists who came to capture her father by taking bedsheets and hanging them on the windows of her home, lighting them from behind with candles. With her siblings playing the part of militia men marching in front of the candles, she fooled the would-be kidnappers into thinking the home was closely guarded and they retreated into the night. Sybil's most famous act of heroism would come on the night of April 26, 1777, when the British set fire to the nearby town of Danbury, Connecticut. Her father's militia had all gone home to tend to their farms, which were all spread over miles of countryside. While her father stayed to prepare for battle, the 16-year-old Sybil mounted her horse and set off to alert the militia of the British attack. Through the rain and wind, she ran a stick along the shutters of houses on her path, yelling, The British are attacking Danbury! The British are attacking Danbury! She was able to rouse most of the militia who succeeded in pushing back the British. Her ride ended up being 40 miles, much further than Paul Revere's ride two years before. Soon after the battle, the Ludingtons were visited by General George Washington, who thanked Sybil personally for her brave contribution to the cause. Many historians have called my story into doubt due to a lack of reliable first-person sources, and because the story of a girl alone riding a horse through the countryside at night seems far-fetched. True or not, my story has been retold for generations serving as a representation of the fighting spirit at the heart of our country's founding. 